Driver has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, you can see that there's this new Avenger that you can get. There's the Razor and the Rogue. There's new single player Shadow Racing, which I don't know what this means because you can already do Shadow Racers by yourself. I guess we'll see. And there's no more Halloween stuff, so if you didn't get the Pumpkin Pal, if you didn't get the Halloween Pass, if you didn't get any of the customizations for the cars, then you're not going to be able to get them ever again. And heading to the shop and looking at the new cars, we have two new cars, the Razor and the Rogue. And starting off with the first one, we have the Razor. And here are the customizations for it. I think those headlights might be broken a little bit because these don't actually do anything if you buy the future ones and I believe the other one might do the exact same thing. And the other new car we have is a Rogue and here are the customizations for it. A lot of the spoilers don't seem to work on this car. And heading to the quest tab, you can see that there's this new area right here called challenges, which if you beat all these times, you'll be given some money for it. And some of these seem to be pretty difficult like this around the world one. So if you don't have good cars, you're probably not going to be getting this right away. And as you can see, they've changed this up. So it looks different now. And this is what it looks like once you've completed a quest. And with that, let's complete these two weekly challenges. This first one is expressway. And the other one we have is Tunnel Sprint. Now, I guess these challenges are the single player mode, which is kind of weird. It doesn't really feel like that, and it just seems like something to grab the players. 
And the first one we're going to start off with Speed Avenue. The next one is Redwood Pass. The third one is Freeway Speedway. The fourth one is Forest Trail. The fifth one is Around the World, which I'm going to switch to the Inferno for this. And the last one we have, which I think is going to be the hardest, is the Turbine Turmoil, which I think this is a new race or did they? Yeah, this is a new race. Okay, this race is really cool. Uh, I'm actually going to have to try to beat this one. Let's see if the blade is any good on this. Okay, yeah, this... I do not like the blade at all. I might have to actually tune my Vanaheim to be able to beat this. Yeah, this race is really weird. Let me change the tune-up so it's a little bit better. Let's try this. That turn is so annoying. Okay, there we go. I think I completed it. Yep, there we go. Uh, but I want to try and get a better time, but I'll do that later. And there we go. We can claim these all now. Which, that's a pretty good amount of money for challenges. And now with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the first part, I accidentally collected it, but head over to one of these races over here, like Drag Strip or this Transport Trailer or Runaway Roller Coaster. And right down here under this bridge, you'll see the first part. The next part, head over to this place right here, Big Tower. And right under this building, you'll see the second part. For the next part, head over to this place right here, Cafe. And right in this parking lot, you'll see the third part. For the next part, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And the part is right next to it. And for the last part in the USA map, head over to this transport trailer right here. And right here, you'll see the last part. 
And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges, which we have two drift score challenges, I guess. Uh, and let's go and grind these. And there we go, we have completed all the quests, so let's collect them. And the LRC Extreme is back again, so if you want this, make sure to get it now. And here's the Avenger. And here are the customizations on it. I don't know where this one is. Let me buy that and I'll see where it's at. I guess when you buy that, it doesn't do anything. Like, you won't have any exhaust effects. Also, the car has no shadows. That looks really weird. I guess none of the cars have shadow, but this one just looks really weird without it. And that's basically it for this update. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next video.